So we don't want to just critique it and leave it there. We want to make it better. We want to improve it. And so what we're going to do is use all of the elements uh, from that poster. Um, if you go to the course website for on the example page, um, there's a link to this folder that you can download that has all of the text. It has all of the logos, it has QR codes if you want to mess with them. It has different icons that you can deal with. Um, and so what we can do is redesign this poster um, following the principles of graphic design with contrast, repetition, alignment, proximity, and make it look a lot better. Um, I'm going to do it in two different ways just so you can see how it's done across different programs. So first I'm going to do it in Canva, um, which is a free online graphic design program. And then I'm going to do it in Adobe Illustrator, um, which is part of the Creative Suite. And later in the semester, you'll hopefully be using it uh, to enhance your um, exported graphics from R. So what we're going to do is open up Canva and if you just go to canva.com you can log in. Uh, the, creating an account is free. You can do the pro version but you don't have to. Um, so what we're going to do is create a design, this big button here in the corner. We're going to create a new design. Um, we're going to create a poster. Um, they have other sizes of documents that you can do here, a business card, a blog, banner, a book cover, all sorts of things. We'll just do a poster. So it'll open up a new tab here with a blank sheet of paper. There's the blank page. Okay, and by default, Canva wants to have you use one of its built-in templates for things. So we have like a coronavirus poster or an Fitter poster or other things. We don't need to worry about that. We'll just close that. So what we want to do is um, add our text here and then mess around with it and move it and um, make it follow the, the four principles of graphic design that we've been talking about. So what we're going to do is add some text. By default, it, it has three different sizes of text when you drag it out that are specific fonts. You can change all of that. So what we're going to do is just kind of drag out a heading. That'll be the title of our organization. Um, we'll drag out the subheading, which again, it's not like any official subheading. It's just a thing that um, we can use to, to automatically resize the text here. And then we'll bring out some, some body text that we can mess with. And we'll change all of the text here. So let's go ahead and close that panel. And here we have our heading. So it's not actually heading. We're going to put the name of the organization here, which was Safe Kids Utah County. And then the subheading, again, it's not an official subheading or anything. It's just slightly larger text than normal text. We're going to say learn child. What did the actual poster say? Let me look at the other monitor. There it is. Learn child safety tips to wow, help you hashtag keep kids safe. And let's get rid of the space in the hashtag. There we go. So we have some text here. Um, I'm not going to bring all of the text from the poster here. Um, originally, it said connect with Safe Kids Utah County on social media. Um, the fact that you're advertising social media accounts kind of implies that you can connect with them. And so we can we can get rid of that. That's kind of redundant um, in the pros there. We do care about this learn child safety tips. And so we're going to put that in kind of a prominent location on the poster. And then we want these different social media accounts. Um, and so what we can do is if we put the, the names of the social media accounts here, um, it was Safe Kids Utah County for Facebook. It was at safe kids underscore Utah County. It's kind of a horribly long Twitter handle. Um, and if we copy that and paste it, then we have a third for Instagram, which is safe kids underscore UTCO. Okay, so we have the text here. We can also bring in the logos um, that I extracted from the poster. And so if you um, open up a finder window, it was on my desktop here. Um, we can bring in the Safe Kids Utah County, and so we can just drag that in. And we can bring in the logo for the Utah County Health Department and drag that in. And it decided to put it in there twice. There we go. 
So just by dragging it in, it automatically downloads it uh, or uploads it and then lets you uh, manipulate it. So we can move the logo here and we have this other logo here. Cool, we've got all of the um, elements of this poster here. And so what we need to do now is kind of add the good contrast and repetition and alignment and proximity. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using center alignment, I'm gonna have everything be left aligned um, so that there's good strong alignment. And I'm going to actually add um, kind of a, a colored uh, rectangle along the side to give it kind of a stronger um, vertical line. So the way we can do that is if you click on elements here, it will let you draw a rectangle once it loads here. So it does have like these these little free clip art things. We don't care about that. We're just going to drag a shape onto the page and it's going to bring out a square and we can hide that panel. So what we're going to do is just kind of resize this um, so that it's maybe this wide. We'll put this up in the corner. We'll drag this down. And so this is kind of a, a blank space on the poster um, to kind of offset the text, but also have it strongly aligned to the left. And we've hidden our Utah County logo, so we'll just move that over. And there we go. Okay, so one thing we can do here is, right now this is just gray by default, but we can choose kind of a better color. Um, one way we can choose a color, we could try to match this blue. Um, if we were using something like um, Photoshop or Illustrator, there's a way to use a color picker and actually get that exact color. Um, Canva doesn't let you do that, and so we, we don't know what that exact color is, but we can guess. Um, so in the lecture, I talked about a thing called Adobe Color that lets you kind of create color palettes based on other colors. So what we can do is um, this base color that's in the middle, we can drag this around and move it so that um, it matches kind of that Utah County blue. That color probably matches the Safe Kids. It's close enough. Cool. So now we have different rules that we can follow based on this base color here. So these are analogous colors. There's not a lot of contrast between them. If we click on monochromatic, now you have this range of blues and light blues and dark blues. We can do triad colors. So now we have some good contrasting colors with this green, this um, neon green, this darker green, this salmon color, this dark blue. We can do complementary colors, and so it's this blue and brownish orange. We can do split complementary. We can do double split complementary. I like that. That looks cool. Um, so I think we'll just go with this double split complementary and use some of these colors because those look neat and springtimey and um, have good contrast to them. So what we want to do is the way we can use these colors in Canva, all colors can be represented by what are called hex codes. If you look down here with after this pound sign, this 8CADFF, um, that's kind of a, a representation, a text representation of this color. And so we can copy this text here. And if we come back to Canva, we can fill um, this rectangle with that color. So the way we can do that is if you select the rectangle, click on this color thing in the corner. If we paste that code um, without the pound sign, then that's the color right there. So we can click on it and there's our blue. And that looks nice. It's not exactly the same blue. Um, you can tell now in the poster that we, we guessed wrong, but we'll just live with it. Um, if we were doing this for real, we would get the actual color. So now we have you know, a very strong vertical line on the page here. So what we can do is start aligning things to that line. And so this, this block of text right now is centered. So if we click on this alignment button, now it is left aligned, which is good. Um, I like the size of this because it's big and easy to see. It is hanging off the page a little bit, and so we need to shrink it down or change the font. Um, by default, Canva uses this Open Sans Extra Bold. Um, what we're going to do is change the font to, um, let's see, it lists a whole bunch of different fonts that are on Google Fonts and that Canva owns the licenses to. Um, one font that I like a lot that's on Canva, and I think it's on Google Fonts as well, is called Barlow um, Semi-Condensed and Semi-Condensed Bold, um, or Barlow Condensed, 
Um, so what we can do is switch to Barlow semi-condensed. That looks cool. Um, or switch to Barlow condensed bold. Let's see how that looks. That's kind of not very strong. So if we do the semi-condensed bold and then make it a little bit extra bold so we can select that and tell it to be bold. There we go. So that's nice and big. Um, the nice thing about doing this condensed font is it kind of squishes it there, which allows us to make it bigger without going off the page. So that looks good, nice and big. Um, one thing I don't like is the space in between these two lines. Um, that's a typographic thing called, uh, called leading. Um, it refers to the lead that people used to put in between the lines when they were working with like um, printing presses. And so what we want to do is shrink this line spacing. Um, Canva lets us do that if you use this button here, the spacing button. Um, we can change the line height instead of 1.4, we can change it down to like 1. something, 1.19. Cool. And then we can make it a little bit bigger. So now there's less space in between. So it looks more like a big unit instead of having it a spacier unit. That's one thing they didn't do um, in the original poster here. Um, they could have shrunk that letting in between these two lines and make the Safe Kids Utah County feel kind of more united there. So we have the title of our organization. That's great. So now we're going to take our Learn Child Safety Tips text here. We're going to repeat the font um, for the sake of repetition, but we're also going to add contrast. We're not going to use Barlow Semi-Condensed Bold. What we can do instead is use Barlow Semi-Condensed once it loads here, um, just regular Barlow semi-condensed. And we're going to make it left aligned. Okay. And the nice thing about Canva is as you're dragging things around, you can see these temporary guidelines that pop up. Um, so there's that pink guideline that shows that it is definitely aligned um, where we want it to be aligned. So that's good. Um, we need to shrink this down a little bit so that it fits. Um, what we can do is add a line break here so that um, it fits kind of more in a rectangle here with the text all lined up like this. And if we resize it, so right now it's it's nice and aligned here. If we wanted to, we could drag it out so it's perfectly aligned you know, with the Y here. Um, that way it's the same width as Utah County there. So if we drag this down a little bit, that will work. That looks good. Um, so another thing we can do is add a little bit more color here. This is the main call out and we want people to use this hashtag and we want to, to have that pop out of the page. So if we go back to our color wheel, we can use one of these colors as um, that pop out color. And so maybe we will use this yellow. Maybe that's not too bright on the page. So let's grab the that bright yellow. And if we select this hashtag keep kids safe and we'll make that bold so it's it's easy to see and that kind of changed the size of our text box and now we want to change the color for keep kids safe to let's see if it picks up that yellow cool that might be too hard to see and for some reason, it likes to sometimes select everything on the page, which is weird. And so we can just re or refresh this page here. There. Okay, so that is actually really hard to see. Um, so even though it is a nice yellow and it's bright, it's actually hard to read. So one thing we could do is darken this um, since we like that yellow. And so if we drag this down here, over in Adobe Color, then you, you start losing the, the nice yellowness of it. So maybe we'll switch to our purple here. So we'll try that color instead. So we'll come here and select this yellow. We don't want that. Change the color to this. Um, another thing Canva likes to do is show you other palettes of contrasting colors and colors that work well. And so that's what it's showing here. Um, we'll use that. Ah. And once again, it selected everything. Canva is a strange program. So we'll refresh this page. And 
once it loads all of the fonts, it should look a lot better. There we go. So that purple is, is a lot easier to read than the yellow. Um, so I, I think I like that. Um, this black, I think we can also change that to use this. Um, well, we're already using the blue, so we could use a darker version of this blue. So if we bump this down a little bit to change it so it's a darker shade of that same blue, or if we want to do it more officially, um, let's bump that back up to 100%. So instead of doing the double split complementary, we can go to monochromatic, and then here's a whole bunch of different shades of that same blue. And so we can do this dark blue for the, the text for the title here, Safe Kids Utah County. So we'll paste that hex color in and tell it to do that. That looks nice. Cool. So we have some good, strong left alignment here. This stuff down at the bottom of the page is still just kind of floating around. Um, we haven't done much with it. Um, what we want to do now is tell people, whoa, we lost the things. Don't drag things completely off the page because then you lose. We lost the Utah County logo. It's probably here in uploads. Perhaps. Yep, there it is. Okay, so don't drag things completely off the page in Canva. You will lose them. Good to know. So we'll just leave them there. Okay, so we have good alignment. We have good contrast here um, with the colors. And we have good repetition with the same font, but contrasting versions of that font. Um, that was Barlow Semi-Condensed. These fonts here are still the Open Sans Light. We want to switch that to Barlow Semi-Condensed as well, just for the sake of repetition. So if we come here, we can say Barlow Semi-Condensed. So it should be the same font. And we can make it slightly bigger. Something like that. OK, so on their poster, what they ended up doing was they wrote out the word Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and tried to color them um, according to the logos. What we can do to be slightly fancier here, and because Canva makes it really easy, um, if you come to Elements, you can actually search for um, icons. So you can search for Facebook, and it has a whole bunch of different Facebook icons that just exist in Canva. And so you can drag this out. It's going to be huge, but we can resize it down to something like that. And then we also want one for Twitter. It's thinking. There we go. So we'll drag out the same. Twitter icon. I have to drag it all the way to the actual page. And we'll do Instagram. And drag this out to the actual page. And so these are big. We need to shrink them down. We want them to all be the same size for the sake of repetition. So we'll just kind of move stuff around here. Let's zoom in so that we can see better what's happening. So we can move this and move this. We want these all to be the same size. And so these, these guidelines that it keeps popping up are really helpful for getting everything perfectly sized. So that matches, that matches, that matches. Those are all the same size now. Um, they might be slightly too big. So we can actually, if you hold down Shift and then click on the objects, you can combine them into a group and then shrink it down as a group. Okay. So with that, we're going to take this Facebook icon and we're going to align it with the same line that um, the same left alignment that this box is using and that this text is using. So everything is still strongly left aligned. Um, so we're going to put the Facebook icon there. We're going to put the Twitter icon there, and we'll put the Instagram icon there. We want it to be exactly the same spacing in between these two. Um, in Illustrator, it would show it better, or there'd be a way to get the exact measurements. So we're just going to eyeball it here. Um, and then we're going to put the account names so that they're centered horizontally, um, but they also follow the same left alignment here. And so if we do something like this to get it centered in the icon, like that, centered in that icon, and centered in that icon, everything's left aligned. And if we zoom back out, that looks pretty cool. 
Um, we can actually move these up a little bit. So if we just draw a box, we can drag this up a little bit because we have to do something with these logos here. They're not super important. It's just showing who's sponsoring this program. So we can shrink that down and maybe put this down in that corner. Um, we can make it so that this logo for Utah County Health Department matches the same size, um, which if we zoom in here, we want to have the top we want to have the top of that mountain there line up with the top of SAFE, and we want the bottom of Health Department to line up with the bottom of Utah County because that helps with uh, alignment. So we'll shrink that down a little bit more. Okay. So we need to kind of space that out. So if we look at the, the rule of proximity, um, we have the name of the organization. It's clearly a unit. This call to action is clearly a unit. This is clearly a unit. But these logos are kind of getting closer to the social media section and making it kind of encroach on that. So what we can do instead is move these logos so that they're right aligned um, with, if we draw a line here, which Canva doesn't let us do, but imagine that there's a, a vertical line that goes from the Y and the exclamation mark all the way down. We can align that logo with, the, with that horizontal line or the vertical line and then move the safe kids thing over here so now we have contrasting alignment. We have everything left aligned that's the important information. And then we have right aligned things that are just kind of the, the logo of the, the sponsoring organizations. And again, we want to make sure these are the right size. They somehow resized themselves when I dragged it. So there we go. Move it slightly over. And cool. That is if we can just move it down a tiny bit more to get it nicely, perfectly aligned. Uh, too far. That should be it. So if we zoom out now, there's our new poster. And so if we compare that poster to the original here, um, it's the same information. All we really did was um, follow the, the principles of, of contrast, repetition, and alignment, and proximity to make a much stronger design here. Um, this is more eye-catching. This has a clear call to action. It still has all the same information on there. We took off the QR codes because who uses those? Um, but this this kind of feels stronger. If we wanted to make it more uh, following their branding, maybe they have stock photography of kids or something, or a picture of their of their building that they work in or something um, that we could put here instead of a solid uh, picture or a solid color, we could have some sort of photograph or something. Um, but just kind of following those simple rules, we get a lot better design here. Um, and so that's how you use Canva to do this.